here. Harley and Joker together at last. Um, so first I started with doing half of my face with just regular foundation. You can either choose to do the white like a whiter paler version of yourself or just do normal i'm already pale enough i figured normal would be fine then uh i did the red side of her eye because i already have the harley quinn hair so <laughs> i did the red eye um you can just take you know just do normal red eyeshadow and then i blackened out the edges to make it a little bit more dramatic Then uh, I did mascara, and you can do false lashes too to make her eyelashes pop a little bit more. But I just did mascara because uh, I hate those fucking things, so <laughs> made this easier and on a budget, you know? Better. So this is the next part. I put some white eyeliner on my waterline. Don't fucking do this. This is stupid. Don't. Just. just if you want to poke your eye, poke your eye some other way. Like, just. This, this is so dumb. Don't, don't do this. Bad idea. <laughs> and then I tried doing up top and I said, fuck that shit. Fuck my eye. Just fuck it. I, I kept poking my eye and it was just bad, bad, bad idea. Um, next is uh, blushing here. And uh, I don't clean my makeup brushes so it turned out dirtier than usual. Which actually turned out fine because um, she's supposed to be like kind of dirty and fucked up. So <laughs> add some highlight on that bitch. Cause we got a glow. You, you got you got a glow. You still gotta have a little bit of glam, you know. You gotta, you gotta have a little bit of glam, even though she's supposed to be like dirty and shit. And then uh, this is where I started doing the the smudging, cause you know we do the classic um, Harley like crying mascara, crying smudging and stuff. I think I probably went a little overboard with this. Like you you can make this simple. You don't have to do this part. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I just went in softly with black eyeshadow and kind of just painted it on wherever and then I would take my hand and kind of like smush it on my face to smear it. Like, actually smear it. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is all up to your own interpretation, you know? Do what you feel. And as you can see, like I just keep going in and keep smearing it and smearing it and smearing it some more some more and oh hey look there's more I think I went too meticulous on this I mean just literally take your hand and smudge your face it isn't it isn't that difficult you know it uh and I'm still smudging it all right gotta move on so here's where we're starting to dirty up the rest of the face um, we're really getting in there, you know. She's She's got to look like she just walked through a fucking bunch of bullets. And, uh, you know, kicking ass and taking aims. And, yes, the faces are part of it, you know. Just take your hand, smack it on your face. Helps. It helps. Now, here, I probably didn't need to do this, but, you know, we're going for a little bit of more realism. So, I, I plumped up one side of my lips to try to get that, that Harley, you know, lips up in here. You know, just take some, some bright red uh, a lipstick and uh, throw it on there. Ain't, ain't, that, ain't that difficult. Honestly, I don't, I don't know why I'm still narrating this. I kind of was meticulous and I didn't need to be. So here we're finally starting the Joker side. Um, I actually use face paint for this. I hated the face paint I used, so I'm not even gonna tell you what it is because it's cheap shit from Amazon. Just, just, just get actual water-based face paint, okay? This is I found out this was oil-based after I started using it, which is dumb. I hate it. Never again. Um, I am not, as you can see, I'm not a professional. Or anything like that so water-based like kids face paint will be just fine um, but you know and I go painting the whole 
the whole side of this face white. Once you have the whole face painted white, I then went down and kind of started marking out where I was going to put his suit with whatever was left over. And then I proceeded to start to draw his blue shirt and red suit yellow tie. Um, I did kind of correct it as I went here and I ended up going back to the face later. I got distracted because I wanted to do the chest part which I ultimately ended up fucking up in the end but that's all right <laughs> this is meant to be fun yeah after I had kind of the blue detailed out where I wanted it to go I started adding the red suit um, now the way this came out texture wise, I really liked it, so I left it, but um, you can always go in and make sure it's really smooth and what have you, but uh, I obviously went for the shorter route <laughs> and just kind of did a little bit of the suit enough to make the effect and kind of show the two sides uh, and then left it at that. <laughs> As you can see now, I kind of started to put in a little bit of the black outline um, to figure out where everything was going to go. And then started in on the tie. I kind of didn't have a method to my madness here. Usually you want to kind of start in one area, finish that area, and continue to the next. I kind of just got excited and did whatever I felt like. So, you know, I had no attention span. I just kind of went in. So, as this just jumped forward here, you're probably wondering, what the hell? You missed a whole part. Well, <laughs> so the thing is, this, this video is already so long. Um, and, I, like, I was trying to figure out the best way to show how I did this part. Because I was looking at it backwards, I was drawing it backwards. It was just a whole mess, so I cut all that part out. But really, all you need to know is you paint the other side white, you paint the top red, and then if you feel rambunctious enough, you can try to do the letters like I'm doing here. It's supposed to say Daddy's Little Monster, so I like cut it in half and tried to do half of where it would be. Listen, like I said, I'm, I'm not a professional. I tried, <laughs> and, you know, it, it came out okay until it got absolutely destroyed later on as you will see. Alright, I already sped this up super fast, but we're gonna go turbo mode because I did a lot of corrections and everything here, so turbo! If you, in retrospect, I could have just cut a lot of this out because it's a lot of mistakes. But, you know, we're all human. You gotta, you gotta show the mistakes a little bit, you know? Show that uh, you can fix them and keep trying and keep pushing. But yeah, I, I sped this up a lot and it still wasn't enough. <laughs> And Ayo, we are finally on the face. Look at that awesome, amazing red eyebrow that I eventually end up painting and taking off, which you will see in a second here. But uh, here we are adding the blue diamond, which goes over his eyebrow and underneath. Like I said, this is from the new Joker movie, so it, it's more of the traditional clown makeup that's kind of like, ah, I did it at home like I'm doing right now. <laughs> It's all messy. And then I was like, fuck this eyebrow. It is not high enough. Uh, so then I tried to scramble to fix it. But again, these uh, paints suck ass. So you still see a little bit of the red there. But again, this is supposed to be trashy. Like, 
I have no artistic skill whatsoever makeup. And so I tried to fix it and then ended up repainting the eyebrow up higher. Which, in the end, you don't really even see because my hair's in the way. But, uh, you know, it's it's all about that realism, folks. You know, we gotta, gotta persevere. Make that real. And then we're just going in and adding the little details here, like his nose. Which, I hate putting anything under my nose. Like, any paint of any sort under my nose, it always itches and I always end up rubbing it off. So this makeup did not stay on very long. Actually... This is probably the longest makeup has stayed on my face, but the nose was pretty much rubbed off because I was constantly like itching at it. Uh, and then here we go drawing the amazing Joker clown smile, which somehow in the end of this, it like still turned out to look like a very sad clown. I don't know if that's how they wanted it to make it looked like, because, you know, it's it's supposed to look like he's always happy, but when, <laughs> when I was looking at it later, it I definitely looked like a sad clown. But uh, you can stop here, obviously, if you wanted to. Uh, I ended up adding a little bit of black in there to give it a little bit more dimension to kind of look like it was connected to the mouth. Uh, I didn't do it very precisely. I just stuck it in there and was like, hey, but it looks more more of the inside of the mouth now, so that's cool. Yes, now it's time to go to the hair. I ended up putting Harley's side up into her famous pigtails, pulled out a few hairs. Um, Joker side, I took some hairspray and zhuzhed it back. Like he had, because he takes his hair, his hair is really long, he doesn't have bangs, and he slicks it back. So I, I did that. Um, and as you can see too, I actually ended up putting eyeshadow, green eyeshadow into the hair to make it green because I didn't have anything at the time. Um, and I was told that it needed to be green. And also you can see I fucked up the letters at the bottom. So that's great. That was because my, my shirt had come up and just fucking rubbed it all over. Another reason why you shouldn't use oil paints. They never fucking dry. But there it is. Half Harley, half Joker not bad for a weekday afternoon on a stream but uh and now basically you can see how oil paints again really sucked love piece of chicken grease we out